Good morning, it is Friday, November 1st, and today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to do a keto full day of eating, and we'll tell Rachel right after this. Oh, Rachel is definitely not going to be happy when she sees this this morning. This is her shipping for the day. I hear Rachel. Good morning. You have not seen the front room and the present your brother left you yet. So we're going to do a full day of eating since it's November 1st. And I made I you, need this? you're going to need this. Oh my Lord. I made you a special coffee and it has the Kai Tu Super Creamer in it. Okay. So how bad could it be? On a side note, I just got a notice from Oasis Snack Foods, which is a company that you can order like keto foods from. And there's a new flavor of Kai Tu coming out. What, do you know what it is? Yeah. What? Gingerbread eggnog. Gingerbread and eggnog together? Yeah, it's a gingerbread eggnog creamer. It's already on the way. <laughs> Grayson. Good morning, Grayson. What are you doing? What are you doing, Grayson? We should have you do the entire intro by yourself. After just getting up, yeah. I don't even know what's going on. I, I'm i sorry for how I look. Oh my gracious. Okay. Say, I'm Rachel. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome here on Two Crazy Ketos. We do different things like product reviews, recipe videos. Sometimes we do vlogs like this and shock Rachel. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for a keto on the couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2 and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Probably need to let Roscoe in, because I hear him... Like screaming, it's 6 a.m. time to come in. Make sure he doesn't have a mouse. Does he have a mouse? Does he have a mouse? Let's see. No mouse. And Tabitha wants to come in. It's the parade of animals. There's charity. And she's got an audience. And then one more. Tabitha, you want to eat? Tabitha, you want to eat? You want to eat? So sit. Nope, you gotta sit. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Say good morning. Nope, sit. Okay, let's eat. Is this what you want? Believe it or not, as big as Tabitha is, this is how much food she gets twice a day. You would think as big as she is, she'd be eating a lot more, but this food is so full of nutrients and vitamins and calories. That's all she needs. Let's go eat. I'm almost afraid to have you see this. Wow. So I am not going to be bored today. That is some awesome news. And we're gonna vlog in it. 8 a.m., time for some coffee. Got a coffee, three tablespoons of the vanilla super creamer from Kaito. So Anthony and I are out at work and I just stopped and got some mail from our mailbox and I wanted to show you guys what we got. Oh, I got a couple keto bricks. Uh, there's a note here, this is from a vet. She wrote, I tried one of the coconut cream bars and I just don't like them. I know you both do, so I hope you enjoy these. And she sent us a cookies and cream brick and a uh, coconut cream brick, which happens to be Rachel's favorite one. This is like, I don't know, I'm starting like all of them. I just got the pumpkin spice. I really like the pumpkin spice one. Peanut butter is still my favorite. And then this one is up there on the top too. This is the cookies and cream crunch. And there is also a couple of pink lemonade zip fizzes, which this is like my third favorite flavor. Absolutely love this one. We also got a package from, or an envelope from Cheryl. And Cheryl, let's see. She wrote a little note that says, please forgive the note paper. I hope you all will be able to get these soon at your Costco. Hugs to you both, Cheryl. And she sent me, oh, a couple of these Country Archer beef sticks. I've not tried these, so I'm excited about trying these. Look what just came in the mail today. 
I forgot we had ordered these. Oh, yeah. Some more of the nut butters because we didn't know that um, they were going to mail us some for free to try. Yeah. So how about later on in the video, we give one of these away. I think we should. So keep watching. It's 12 o'clock. I just got home from my cutting. Rachel is out in the garage doing some shipping. And I'm going to try one of these Country Archer beef sticks that Cheryl sent me. So I guess these come from Costco. These are Country Archer Jerky Company beef sticks. 100% grass-fed beef. And let's see, on the back, I just dropped it. Uh, the serving size is one stick, 50 calories per serving. Three and a half grams of fat, five grams of protein, zero carbs. The ingredients are grass-fed beef, water, sea salt, um, you've got some celery powder, some garlic powder, red pepper, black pepper, cherry powder, coliander, onion powder, white pepper, ground nutmeg, parsley, and uh, colored beet collagen. So let's go ahead and try these. Those are pretty good. These are good. Yeah, hopefully, Cheryl, our Costco gets these because I would definitely buy them. I don't know what they charge for them, but I like the fact that they're like smaller, so it's a nice little snack to have like in the car or just eat it along with one of my meals. Hey, Google, stop. Hey, Google, stop. Go inside. Hey, Google, stop. Dude, are you almost done with the shipping? I am almost done. I'm down to the last two packages. Okay, so Anthony... Well, I'll, at least for FedEx. Anthony and I will take it to FedEx. Uh-huh. I have to go to the church to program the computer for tomorrow. Uh-huh. It is really dark. Sorry. And then uh, I will stop at Buffalo Wild Wings and get wings for the last day of the wing challenge. I can't believe that we need more wings. I know. So when I get back, we'll talk about what the November challenge is, right? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that daddy's chicken? Are you supposed to be eating daddy's chicken? Oh my goodness. We were gonna save that forever. Did you at least name it? Okay, so we got two large orders. The, one of them is split in half. We got Chipotle barbecue and then the salt and vinegar. And then we have a large order of the mild sauce ones. The reason we get the mild is mild actually has less carbs. They add more butter to it, so it's got less carbs. Okay, it's lunchtime. I have a game tonight, so we're gonna eat early. Why are we not eating this at the restaurant? Well, we got wings, Buffalo Wild Wings, for the last day of the wing challenge, and we're not eating at the restaurant. Is that a happy plate or what? That is a super happy plate. We're not eating at the restaurant because the other night we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what? We never, ever go out to eat, ever, right. right? We never go out to eat. So I'm like, I'm gonna treat myself and I'm gonna get a fountain soda. I got water. You got water. And like we a had, smart lady. <laughs> we had the best waitress. Yes. She was absolutely awesome. It was actually her last day of training. Shout out to Miss Vicky. Yeah. And what ended up happening was like towards the end of the night, because we had like 160 wings in front of us. Yes. This other girl comes over and goes, let me refill your soda. What do you drink? I'm like, Diet Pepsi. And she brings me back a refill. And I drank about half of it, like three quarters of it. Remember, we're drinking like hot, hot, like like extra spicy wings and stuff. And I'm like, that seems really sweet. Like yeah. sweeter than it should be. And my senses should be dull from eating all the hot stuff. Yeah, there was, she gave me regular Pepsi. So enough. Yeah, so that is why we never go out to eat, because I don't trust anything. But I knew, I just knew that I had regular Pepsi. I got in the car, and I happened to have a blood keep, a blood meter in the car. As only a keto person would. Right. And I tested, and my blood sugar was 130. I actually saved it. I think I saw the little tear rolling down his cheek. I haven't like, had sugar in almost three years. And then when you do have sugar, it's not because you chose it. It was out of your hands. It somebody was, else Somebody did this. else gave it to me. So that really frustrates you. I was like depressed for like a half hour. I was like, I can't believe I just had sugar. And I felt like garbage, right? I mean, I was kind yeah. of like flying from doing that. Yeah. Fortunately, my blood sugar did drop right back down to like 90 about an hour later. 
but it just kind of like enforces why we don't go out that often. It's not that, you know, we're, we're afraid every time we go someplace, yeah. but you just never know what's going to happen. And fortunately you've been, you know, doing keto for a long time, but I feel like if someone was new to this, yeah. could derail them. Yeah. I mean, for me being keto almost three years now, it'll be three years in February. I mean, I was able to bounce right back into it, but yeah, was not happy about that. Yeah. So yeah, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. So I bought two large orders, a large order of the uh, mild. And I said it before when I showed what we got, um, the reason we got mild, and I was talking to Chris from Keto Cho about this, is the mild, they add more butter. So it's lower in carbs. Nice. Only by a little bit, but enough. And then we got a large order of wings that I split half Chipotle barbecue, the dry rub seasoning, and half the salt and vinegar because you like that one. That is my jam. Uh, Rachel and I have the same amount of wings. We do. Um, but we have to worry about our calories. That's like all of Rachel's calories for the day. I actually need more calories, but it's not fair that like I get more wings. So I'll probably fill in like with some other calories somewhere else. Well, I like that thinking. So, um, but since we are still doing our reverse diet for the whole month of November, we're actually staying at our calories. We're not increasing anymore. Mm -hmm. And then come December 1st, we're gonna start lowering our calories. I'm okay to hang here for a while. Yeah, <laughs> and that's actually gonna be good for our challenge because it is November, so it's no shave November. So I shaved this morning because I have a varsity game tonight, but then I'm not shaving for the rest of the month. I am not observing that. I would like you to. Nobody wants me to grow my own furry pants. <laughs> well, in addition to no shave November, we have our own Two Crazy Ketos challenge. No way, November. So. Boom. What is no way November? No way November means exactly that. We're not weighing. We're not. So we're not. No scale at all. No scale. We are putting the devil scale away so that we can actually enjoy this month of thankfulness. But we're still going to track. What we're going to track is... Our calories. Okay. Make sure our macros are correct. Okay. We're going to make sure we're drinking more water than mm -hmm. anything else. Yep. We're going to keep our electrolytes doing right. We're going to exercise. Okay. And if we do all of these things, we know what to do. I mean, uh, the snacks. We're going to enjoy snacks, but they're going to be during meal time. So kind of like with, uh, joining along with Keto Chow, who is doing no snack November. Like you can have snacks, but they got to be part of your meal. No in-between meal snacking. Yeah, but no weighing. We're not weighing. And it actually falls in line with what Miss Autumn is doing on Watch Autumn Keto. No, no excuses. excuses. Yeah. So yeah, if we do what we're supposed to do, we don't need to look at that scale. Yeah, cause, and the way we're going to track our measurement is we're going to measure. So Rachel and I measured this morning. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is every Friday over on our Two Crazy Ketos Facebook group mm -hmm. of Two Crazy Ketos family. There's right. a link down below. Every Friday, we're going to put up what the result of our measurements are. We're going to remeasure every Friday and put a plus or minus. Now, I'm not expecting ours to go down because... We're eating at 500 calories, 700 calories more than normal. Right. I will be happy if that just stays, stays the steady same. because that means that when we start going down in calories come December, those measures should go down. Yeah, so. exactly. So I'm excited about this and we want you guys to join in with us. Put the devil scale away for yep. the whole month of November and track everything else. Pictures. Track with measuring tape. Find your most snug outfit. Don't go and buy something that's like a gold jeans or gold shirt, but yep. something that you have right now that yep. fits snug. Put it on every single week, one day a week, and see like, are you seeing some movement? Yeah. Are you seeing some room starting to develop? Yeah, so, and what we want you to do is post your results on, on using what are the hashtags? Um, uh, no way November spelled W E I G H. Okay. And no way two K K. Sounds good. Well, we are gonna eat mm -hmm. and then kind of relax for a little while. Hopefully, a minute. Because I have a game. You had a ton of shipping today. I still have to go to the post office, and I got quite the workout because each of those long boxes you're seeing are forty pounds a piece. Wow. So when she's moved about twenty of them, <laughs> it's a decent like you know lifting for today. Well, sounds good. We're going to eat and enjoy our last day of wings for the week. Yay! We have a guest in the, the conclusion of our video. Be our charity. What's up? Charity. Uh-oh, the jealous one is over here. Like, Tabitha. She's like, oh, I'm just going to squeeze <laughs> in here. 
She is so jealous. Oh, now she wants him too. So. Okay, let's finish this up. Okay, off, 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 off. So it's like 5.15 and I have to get ready to go to my game. And Tabitha's not going to leave us alone. And uh, I have a feeling you've had such a long day. You've been up since 5. That uh, you're going to be sleeping when I get home. I had two more rounds of shipping come in. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure I'll be awake. Caleb and I are going to watch a movie. What is on your Thanksgiving or this time of year movie list? Christmas with the Cranks and uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Well, see, I usually say that for December. I'm wondering, like, what do you watch in November? All the Christmas movies. You're ready for them. I'm ready. I love Christmas movies. What is your favorite Christmas movie? And yes, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. <laughs> it counts. You cannot go through Christmas without watching Die Hard. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know down below. So, um, we have... I want to watch some Rita Hayworth movies, though. We need to... I'm, I'm really in the mood for some Rita Hayworth movies. That is specific. I love Rita Hayworth movies. Oh, my gracious. I do, too. So, anyway... We got a package today. I completely forgot these were coming because when the nut butters came out, I ordered them not knowing that Justin was going to send us some to like review. And so we're going to do a giveaway. We have three of them. We're going to give away one. Um, Whichever one the winner wants. Are we really going to include the peanut butter and jelly I one? I think we should if we're going to make it fair. Oh, come on. The peanut butter and jelly one's the best one. Maybe Can't we just let them pick only one of the other two flavors? Maybe that's not the one they want, though. Okay, fine. Okay, so we have all three flavors. We have the uh, almond butter and jelly. What else are the other ones? Chocolate hazelnut. Which is very much like a Nutella. And snickerdoodle. And snickerdoodle. So here's what you have to do. You need to hit the like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And then leave a comment down below. Let us know what, what your flavor you would like. Well, no, they can tell us that when they answer for the winner. But okay. what was your favorite way to eat peanut butter? Oh, <gasps> just by the spoonful for me. By the spoonful. Honestly, like keto has not changed that. <laughs> I just want a jar of peanut butter and just spoon it into my mouth. So we're going to run. This video is going to come out on, uh, what, Sunday, this coming Sunday, Sunday which is Sunday, Sunday. November, what's today? It is first, so November 3rd. So we're going to run this uh, one week, and we will announce the winner next Sunday. They may be an hour late seeing this video, though. That's because right, because it's fall back today. Fall back. We get an extra hour of sleep. Everybody be careful, though, driving and going to work and stuff. It usually messes with people's, like internal system when yeah. they change these things. Spring forward's really bad, but fall back is just as bad. Yeah, so be so. careful, everybody. I also think it's time to get rid of daylight savings time. Well, we've got to be careful while we still have it. Yeah, so that is our video for today. That's our full day of eating, although we only ate wings. I don't, I, I'll probably eat a little bit of a keto brick or maybe a perfect keto bar later on. I may look to, at the back of my eyelids later on. <laughs> I'm also going to have a... Uh, zip fizz. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink a zip fizz right now on my way to the game because I need some electrolytes because I do have four games tomorrow as well. Wow! But today is my very last high school football game of the year. You made it through another season. Another season with no painkillers, no arthritis medication. Thank, Thank you, you very God. much, God, and then keto and keto. Yes. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye. As a side note, after the sign off, I think Rachel's got some company while she goes to sleep. Bye.